All right, howdy guys, Max Double Tap Shooting. Uh, we're going to do a little talking today about minute of angle. Uh, I'm going to break this down and try and make it more simple. Uh, I did a video that I called minute of, minute of Angle Made Easy, and I get a lot of good review feedback on it that it really helped a lot of people, and then I get a lot of people that just aren't getting it, and that's fine. I mean, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, but, and uh, this is a throw together after reading some comments. Uh, it's not going to be super technical, especially when I'm drawing on paint. I apologize for that, but, you know. Uh, this first picture here, it shows one minute of angle. Imagine that bottom line as your straight line. That is between you at the little side of the pie, and the pie is the big V looking thing, and your target at the long side of the pie, we'll say it in this case 500 yards or meters. Okay, that pie slice is what one minute of angle is. That is actually a minute of angle. No matter where you are on the planet, that's a minute of angle. So, if you at the left side of that pie slice are at zero, not zero rifle, zero feet, zero inches, zero anything. One minute of angle from where your position in space is, out 100 yards, one minute of angle is one inch. One inch. That same exact minute of angle at two inches, or at 200 yards is two inches. At 300 yards is three inches. At 400 yards is four inches. At 500 yards is five inches. That, it's just, imagine that pie slice as that bullet or that minute of angle goes away from your gun. That pie slice is glowing, is growing. That straight line is a fictitious non-existent couldn't get there if you wanted to there's no gun in the world that shoots that flat line that's where minute of angle comes in it has it, it's relative to gravity and the pull of the the gravity on a bullet and way more stuff than you need to understand you don't need to know why a bullet drops at the distance and, the, and how far it drops. You don't need to know any of that stuff. What The first thing you need to understand, just wrap your head around this, because there's more parts to this, to this series that are going to come out. I'm going to go through the whole thing one chunk at a time. But the first thing I want you to wrap your head around is that pie slice. That is what a minute of angle is in your world. Okay, let's talk about scopes for a minute. Uh, on this next picture, and I'm telling myself this so I can know which picture to put up when I edit this all together, <coughs> you see three different knobs of what could be a scope. Now on a scope, flip over this picture, your top knob, if your scope is mounted properly, your top knob will adjust your crosshairs up and down. The knob on the right, if you're at the back of the gun, the right of the scope will move it left and right. That's called windage. Either one of those is going to move in some form of minute of angle. So, let's go back to our knobs here. Here we have a quarter inch minute of angle, a half inch minute of angle, and an eighth inch minute of angle. First of all, do not spend the money on an eighth inch minute of angle. It's, it's way too much work. If you're shooting long range, you do not need to be the 8th inch MOA guns, or scopes. Uh, quarter inch is probably the standard. Uh, there are a few half inch scopes out there. What that means, one quarter minute of angle, one half minute of angle, or one eighth minute of angle. Okay, now... We go back here to our picture of our pie slice. We know at 100 yards, one minute of angle is one inch, right? Okay. So, if you are using a quarter inch gun, and this is where I need to pull paint up. Hold on a minute here. <coughs> Get paint up and start my screen recording thing. All right. 
Now, don't make fun of my paint drawing skills. And let's see, I need a straight line. All right, here's our straight line. As straight as we can make it. Okay, that's straight line. Here is another straight line. Boom. Okay. This is... <laughs> we're really going to... Ah, here, I'll use the text tool. This is zero feet. I need to make this bigger. Not responding. That's not a good thing. Sorry. I'm actually got a video in the background producing. Uh, Alright, I'm going to talk while this sits here and stops not responding. Oop, there we go. Never mind. Alright, 72. Alright, this is zero. Over here, this is come on, 100 yards. Alright, now. Go back to my tools. I just need a brush actually now. Alright. So, at 100 yards, this is one minute of angle. We're not worried about 200 yards. We're not worried about 400 yards. What, right now, we're going to talk about 100, 100 yards. So, we're going to pretend you have one of those quarter inch scopes. Alright, so now we're talking about one quarter MOA. <laughs> Sorry. That's some good drawing, isn't it? Anyway, alright. So, you have a one quarter MOA scope. We're talking about a hundred yards. That means one click on that scope is going to move from here to here from here to here this is one click right here on a quarter inch scope that is one click click two clicks on that scope is here this is two clicks Anybody guess what that one is? That's right. Three clicks. And from here to there. That is four clicks. To move that, and this is one inch right here. At 100 yards, we are talking about one inch. So, with a quarter minute of angle scope, to move the bullet impact up, down, left, or right, one click will go a quarter inch at a hundred yards. So, new. No, don't say. Alright. So now, we're going to go back to minute of angle. We're going to talk about this same quarter inch scope. We're going to look things a little bit different here. Alright, now, what we are talking about here, this I'm going to reduce that up from 72. This is still zero. Back at the beginning of the pie slice is still zero. Boy, this thing does not like change font sizes. It just keeps locking it up. Alright. This is still zero y yards. Okay. But now, we're going to have another line in here. This is now 100 yards. And this is now 200 yards. Follow along. <coughs> so, because we have this here, we're going to still start at zero. Try and get this about right. Alright. 
I'm sorry, had I been planning on doing this, I would have had this all prepared. Alright, now, back to our old picture we had. This line right here, one click on a quarter inch. This line right here is two clicks on a quarter inch, three clicks on a quarter inch, and four clicks on a quarter inch to make this one inch okay so again from here to here this distance is one inch right this first mark is one click second this mark right here is two clicks this mark right here three clicks this mark right here on that 100 yard line is four clicks on remember this is a quarter inch scope one quarter MOA scope. Now, here's where the minute of angle truly starts to come into play. This distance from here to here, that, I mean, perfect, is two inches. All right, it's no longer one inch because as that pie slice gets bigger, so does the minute of angle. So if that bullet on four clicks has moved one inch at a hundred yards it is now going them same four clicks let me go back to this this is one click this is two clicks this is three clicks this is four clicks uh, where'd my paintbrush go this is still one click. This is still two clicks. This is still three clicks. This is still four clicks. But, because the pie slice is getting bigger, one click over here to this point equaled what? One quarter inch, right? Oop. One quarter inch. So, what does that one quarter inch equal here? <coughs> if the distance doubled and the minute of angle doubled, so the distance went from 100 to 200 yards, and the minute went for, or the the a full minute went from one inch to two inch. So, if at 100 yards one click was a quarter inch. 200 yards, one click is what? A half an inch. Whoop. Same click, same thing. You didn't do anything else to the scope. You put one click on... Oh God, I'm pointing at the screen like you can see it. <laughs> you put one click on the gun here. Back to brush, that sucked. Here we use crown. You put one click on the gun here. Which got it one quarter of an inch. That same one click as that pie grows out when you get to 200 yards. Because one minute of angle is two inches. That same one click that moved you a quarter of an inch here moves you a half an inch here. So. Talk about this. A little bit further I'm try I really am trying to break this down as easy as I can guys Let's put our pie slice back in this time we're going to have three make this a little bit bigger so I can get it all in there all right now we're gonna have 100 yards 200 yards and 300 yards. I know it's not congruent. I'm drawing it freehand. Give me a break. So this is still zero. This is now 100 yards right here. <coughs> this is now 200 yards. And this is 300 yards. Now we we're just talking about the minute of angle portion of 
long range shooting. We are not talking yet about anything else. So, there is our one click mark. There is two clicks. About there. And here is three clicks. Okay. Now, back to the paintbrush. This distance here is still one inch. Still one inch at 100 yards. One inch. At 200 yards, it's still two inches. Two inch. At 300 yards, how far is that distance? That's right, three inches. Okay. So, at 100 yards, kind of like that crayon thing. At 100 yards, this distance, four clicks, equals one inch. At 200 yards, this distance, one click, I'm sorry, four clicks. We're talking about a quarter minute scope. Um, did me not mean to confuse you. Please forgive me. We are talking about a quarter MLA scope. Put that up there, kind of remind me. Now, so this line right here, with this one being zero, that <coughs> represents four clicks. This line right here, which is at two inches at 200 yards, is four clicks. Not four more clicks, it's the same four clicks. This line, <coughs> excuse me, at 300 yards, which is three inches, is the same four clicks. So let's go back down here. We're going to talk about this mark. Talk about this mark. We're going to talk about this mark. So, starting at zero yards, at a hundred yards, one click, one click equals, that's right, quarter inch. At two hundred yards, the same one click. Equals what? That's right, half an inch. At 300 yards, and I'm not talking to be like this to be an asshole, guys. I'm talking so because the camera's kind of away from me right now. So if this is really loud, I'm not yelling at you guys. That same one click equals what? If it equaled a quarter inch at 100 yards and a half an inch at 200 yards, at 300 yards, it is three quarters of an inch. That's right. It's the same click. Nothing's changed. It was one click moved, us, moved that bullet impact one quarter of an inch at 100 yards. At 200 yards, that same one click, you haven't done anything else. Move that bullet a half an inch. At 300 yards, that same one clip, you still haven't done anything else. Move the bullet three quarters of an inch because as the pie slice gets bigger, just moving at that quarter inch at 100 moves it a half at 200, three quarter at 300. Let's go on now and talk about the second click. Second click, the second click. All right, we already know that two clicks at 100 yards equal half an inch, right? We know that from earlier. So at 200 yards, we know that that second click equal what? That's right, one inch. So, 
So at 300 yards, <clears throat> two clicks equals what? That's right, one and a half inches. This is starting to make sense now. God, I hope so. I really do. Let's talk about that third click. Put this over here somewhere. Alright. <clears throat> so we already know at 100 yards, our third click equals what? Three quarter of an inch. And I really am not trying to do this, Dora simple where Dora's waiting for you to answer. I'm literally trying to pause a little bit to give you a second to get it square in your head. I'm not trying to insult anybody. I'm not trying to insult your intelligence. I'm not trying to demean anybody. I've heard that in the other video. It sounded like you were trying to demean me. No. I'm just trying to break this down so the people who don't get it are getting it. So, all right. 200 yards, we know. One full click, or I'm sorry, one full minute of angle is two inches. We are talking about a quarter minute of an angle scope. So three clicks at 200 yards equaled three quarters of an inch. Now, 300 yards, total of three inches. Right? Same three clicks. So, if three clicks at 100 yards move the bullet three quarters of an inch. Ooh, that screwed that all up. I need to go back and get this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wrote the wrong thing in there. Eraser tool, erase, erase, erase. If you know what I'm talking about. I did not mean to screw, mess you guys up. Please forgive me. Let me do this again. So, <clears throat> I probably need to erase that other one while I'm here. I probably talked ahead of myself or actually behind myself, trying not to confuse you, and I didn't mean to. Alright. <clears throat> so, three clicks. Hopefully, you guys caught that when I made that mistake when we were doing this. That, was, Yeah, yeah, I did that on purpose to see if you guys would catch me. No, anyway, uh, so if every time one click at 200 yards is moving the scope a half an inch, three clicks are moving bullet impact a half an inch, that three clicks is going to move at what? 1.5 inches. Three clicks, three quarters of the distance of two inches would be one and a half inches, right? Now we're going to get to uh, God, I hope I'm not confusing anybody else. 300 yards, the total distance in one minute of angle is three inches. If one click is three quarters of an inch, and two clicks it equals an inch and a half, how much is three clicks? Exactly. 